Amen. And I think you can all agree that actually God is doing something unique uh, and, uh, and uh, actually gathering all these uh, healing ministries. It's, it's historic. And I actually had a question also for Jean-Luc. You are the founder of Europe Shall Be Saved. And God gave you this vision to, to gather the, the, and unite the ministries, the denomination, and the, and the Christians together to see a mighty move of God. And my question is like, uh, we know everything is changing now. We know there's a lot. We need to, we need to, to, to be proactive, and we need to actually be uh, uh, actually ahead of our time because God is changing the things. So what do you think uh, the, the, is the main challenge for the church to see this move of God come? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for asking this question because I really believe healing is in connection with what God wants to do in this season. Because the gospel, it's not, the kingdom of heaven is not made only by words, but with a demonstration of power. And healing is a major ingredient to bring the gospel to this generation. So, of course, it is a season now where things will be different, where we will have to readapt ourselves in a different way to communicate the gospel, but the gospel is still the same, but we need the power with the gospel. If it's just preaching, we just go to the religious things. But if we, as Dorothy said in the beginning, it's with the Holy Spirit. And that's the reason I have faith that Europe will be saved because it's not about a denomination or a church. It's today God is calling his children to come around his presence, not around theology. I'm not against theology. We need to have a good theology, but to come again around the presence of God. And when we are in the presence of God in unity, we discover that there are people with different color, with different background, with different denominations. But this generation who are loving God, they are hungry for God, for the power of God. And today we can hear more than ever, go to the harvest. And it's not just for Europe, it's for all the world. Go to the harvest, preach the gospel in Africa, in Asia, in Europe. And that's the reason I have faith and I believe. And that's the reason I declare, because I heard it out loud when I was six years old. Europe shall be saved. So the, the major things is to listen to the Holy Spirit, uh, to know where to go and what to do, and just to live the old style, to embrace the new wind and the new the new things that the Holy Spirit wants to do. And one of the things is what we're experiencing now. In the past, it was the one star, the one preacher who was doing everything. Today, it's over the star system. I believe and I respect all the ministries that God has given and they have a specific voice uh, carrying a specific gift, uh, but it's more powerful when we are coming together because the Bible says clearly a thousand, ki one kill a thousand, to 10,000. So we're going to destroy the enemy works in Jesus' name. Amen. I think it's so, so powerful. And I know uh, God is doing something crazy in Europe. 